For Women's History Month, the National Coalition of 100 Black Women Tidewater Chapter would like to recognize June Banks, Dr. Audrey Douglas Cook, and Jonette Ragsdale. They embody the core initiatives of the National Coalition of 100 Black Women, which include health, public policy, economic empowerment, and education. June Banks excelled academically, graduating from Booker T. Washington High School at the tender age of 16 in the class of 1952. She is a proud graduate of Fisk University and New York University where she received her bachelor's and master's degree respectively. Her career was an extensive one with over 39 years of an educator beginning as a teacher at the age of 20, working in a classroom with a potbelly stove in Jasper, Florida. She retired as a speech pathologist and teacher specialist of speech, vision, hearing, occupational therapy, and physical therapy in Norfolk Public Schools. She served as a chairman of the Multicultural Community of Speech, Hearing, and Envis Vision, SHAV, in the state of Virginia. In 1967 through 1968, she was one of the first African Americans to break the color barrier at Old Dominion University in Norfolk, Virginia, as a professor teaching in public speaking. In 1969 to 1970, she chaired the English department at the American Military Secondary School in Germany. Upon returning to the States in 1970, she broke the color barrier in Norfolk, Virginia as a teacher at Rosemont Junior High School, teaching a class of white special needs students. June has served in leadership roles locally, regionally, and nationally in the organizations that she is a part of. She was elected the fifth member at large of the Lynx Incorporated. In the Norfolk alumni chapter of the Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, she actively serves on the Arts and Letters Committee and served on the Life De Development Committee in recent years. June is the only active charter member of the Tidewater chapter of the National Coalition of 100 Black Women. In this organization, she has served as parliamentary chair, she chaired the Constitution and the Bylaws Committee and co-chaired the Legislative Committee. She actively serves on the Board of Directors. June volunteered in the campaign of President Barack Obama. She was a recipient of the Legends Award for the Community Service at the 2015 National Conclave. When there is an election on the city, state, or national level, June serves as a volunteer in any capacity needed. June's life motto is taken from Gal Galatians 610, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all. Dr. Douglas Cook is a consummate professional who has spent the last 37 years as a healthcare professional in various roles in the healthcare field. She recently retired from the Sentara Healthcare, having served as the Vice President of Sentara Heart Hospital for the last seven years. She has been extremely active in various community programs and services. Dr. Douglas Cook continued to lend her executive expertise on several board of directors in Hampton Roads. She volunteers her time teaching a course each week on faith and racial equity as she remains committed to making a difference in the racial divide that exists in the United States. She even volunteers twice a week delivering Meals on Wheels to seniors in Norfolk in effort to help those affected by the ongoing pandemic we are experiencing due to COVID-19. Having served as the past president of the National Coalition of 100 Black Women Tidewater Chapter, she is currently serving as the president of Alpha Chi Chapter of Loda Phi Lambda Sorority. 
Dr. Douglas Cook's recent publication, Factors Associated with 30-Day Remissions for People with Heart Failure, which highlights her passion for heart disease and her ongoing commitment to seek ways in which to educate others on the importance of health and wellness. Dr. Douglas Cook has been married to her high school sweetheart, Robert Cook Jr., and will be celebrating their 40th anniversary in April 2021. She has three beautiful daughters and three granddaughters with one grandson finally due in July 2021. Although she is retired, she continues to live each day to the utmost as she is a firm believer. God has given her so many gifts not to hold on to them, but to share with others. Her motto remains, each one, reach one, teach one. Annette received both her bachelor's and master's degrees from Hunter's College, and she began her teaching career in South Bronx, middle school teaching mathematics. She competed for and won a scholarship for an administrative program at City College to obtain her second master's degree in school administration and supervision. There were 60 recipients that year citywide. What a blessing to be in a tuition-free program with some of the best educational mentors in the city. The program allowed her to network with hundreds of future building and district level leaders. Jonette headed the district level substance abuse prevention program, supervising 30 counselors and administrative staff. The goal of the program was to teach grades K through 12 the pitfalls of drug use, develop, develop self-esteem, and expose students to positive alternatives through modeling. Jonette dedicated 32 years to a rewarding career in the New York school system. With the need to continue in education, she took a job with the City of Norfolk's GED program at Calvert Square, once again teaching mathematics to adults, preparing them for their GED exams. The following year, she acquired a consulate position with a middle school in the South Bronx, helping a new principal at a very challenging school. Jonette is currently a volunteer at the Western Tidewater Free Clinic in Suffolk. This has been her passion for more than 10 years. She is an active member at Little Mount Zion Baptist Church in Suffolk. She married Lee Ragsdale and they have a blended family of five children. June Banks, Dr. Audrey Douglas Cook, and Jonette Ragsdale. These are some phenomenal women in our chapter. We look forward to future recognition in our organization.